guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Whoever doesn't know me, my name is Svetlana, and today I want to introduce you to a very delicious recipe. This recipe is perfect for our cold winter in New York. This is taco soup or taco chili. For some reason, I don't like make tacos. I love eating tacos, but I just don't like making tacos. It's just, you know, like some people love baking, some people love cooking. I like baking and cooking, but I don't like making tacos. And my kids love tacos. So I found a perfect alternative. I'm making taco soup or taco chili. You can call it however you like. And it's so, so, so easy to make. It's so many different ingredients. But once you get everything together, don't be intimidated by that. You just got to get everything together, place it in front of you, and then it's like this. Like you don't even need cooking skills. So for this recipe, we will need about a cup of chopped onion that I'm going to chop right now, about five, six garlic cloves. We will need cilantro and parsley. Uh, and we're also going to need this delicious taco sauce. I use mild. And also another thing that was new to me, we're gonna need Rotel uh, tomatoes. It's delicious because it has the chili pepper inside. And this essential for taco, and you could get it in any supermarket, right? Where the sauces, they sell sauces, they have this. We will need two cans of this. We will need one can of tomato sauce. We will need black kidney beans and uh, we will need black beans and also kidney beans. We will need corn, sweet corn. And I'm gonna use uh, ground beef. You could use any uh, meat you want, any meat you prefer. Or you could actually make it vegetarian without any meat because it has a lot of protein. Hi Kobe, stop crying. It has a lot of protein that it's just delicious even without it and we need taco seasoning that i'm gonna make my own taco seasoning and for that we need cumin powder so i made it like that it's gonna be so much easier for you it's not gonna confuse you so before you start cooking you get all your spices in front of you and you prep everything so we will need three and a half teaspoons of chili powder we will need two teaspoons of paprika we would need uh, about one teaspoon of oregano cumin onion powder garlic powder and one fourth of a teaspoon of red uh, pepper flakes and also one bay leaf so on the description, the little arrow, you click on that, you're gonna see the list of ingredients, how much the can, the skin is, let me see, a 10 ounce can. So I use two of them. So I'm gonna put all one cup of corn. If you buy frozen corn, it's fine, just one cup of corn. And we're also gonna need around three cups of stock. It's beef, you need beef stock, but I, for everything, I use better than bouillon rotisserie chicken. I love this flavor. So go ahead, use your beef stock or use your chicken stock or anything you like. You can adjust everything to a taste. I always say about the, the greatest thing about home cooking that you could adjust everything to your taste. You don't have fresh parsley, you could use uh, uh, dry parsley about, um, two teaspoons of dry parsley but you need fresh cilantro and for toppings you may use sour cream if you kosher or you don't need dairy with meat don't use sour cream i'm gonna be using sour cream i'm gonna be also using uh, cheddar cheese you could also use um, onion you could also use chili you could slice everything i'm gonna probably use a little bit of everything i didn't lay it out with you because you could use any toppings you prefer or you could just eat it just like that so you could make vegetarian version you could skip the sour cream and cheese you could use i'm showing you the idea how to do it and then you could adjust to your taste let's start cooking so come to my stove with me let's begin by adding few tablespoons of frying oil, I use extra olive oil for frying. And we get it 
a little hot, not too hot. Now I'm adding my chopped onion. And I'm gonna cook it for about a few minutes until it's translucent. So now um, I sauteed my onion for about three minutes. Now I'm adding my garlic. And I'm gonna cook for another 30 seconds until you start getting that garlicky smell. And now I'm adding my ground beef. And I need to cook it by breaking it apart, just like that, to so small pieces. It's gonna take us a few minutes. for about five minutes and now it looks like that it's all done and ready so what I need to do now I need three cups of stock I'm using my chicken better than bouillon I'm adding usually it's a teaspoon for a cup but I'm gonna use about here is about two teaspoons because it's a lot of meat so I don't need this to be so concentrated so I'm gonna pour three cups here's two cups I'm gonna mix it up. And guys, also, this has a lot of salt. Even though it's reduced sodium, it has a lot of salt. So don't put too much salt in your meat because salt, everything, I put a little bit of salt on onion to make it translucent. But then, after I put all the ingredients, I'm gonna try it and then I'm gonna add salt. So now, we're adding here two cups. I need to add one more cup of liquid because I already mixed it, I'm not adding more. So it's gonna be three cups of stock. My tomato sauce. And I'm also adding taco sauce. I bought mild because trust me guys, it's gonna be really spicy. So, we're gonna need to bring everything to a boil. And then we're gonna add our delicious spices. Everything is boiling now, and we're adding our delicious seasonings. This is gonna make our chili soup so yummy, yummy. I love seasoning. It just, it's just amazing how you could use the same ingredients, meat, onion, garlic, tomatoes, and by adding different seasonings, you're just creating completely different cuisine. It could be Mexican, it could be Spanish, it could be Italian, it could be uh, Mediterranean, it could be Russian, anything. Just by using different seasonings, it's completely different kitchen. We're adding our rotel tomatoes from the can, just like that with the juices inside. And we'll bring this, actually, we're gonna add everything at this point and it starts smelling divine. Now, our black beans. Guys, don't forget to drain everything before you're adding our beans, our corn. Everything has to be drained prior to that. I'm using right out of, of, right out of the can. So now, everything mix. At this point, we're adding a bay leaf. We try for salt. I don't even need any more salt. We bring everything to a boil, we cover it and simmer for 30 minutes. And I'll see you then. My friends, my soup has been simmering for 30 minutes. It smells, I can't even explain the smell. It just so, so, so yummy. Okay, I cannot wait to try it. Now, all we gotta do, last step, I'm adding fresh chopped cilantro and fresh chopped parsley right in there. And that's it. Simple as that. It's ready. 
All we gotta do, give it a nice stir. I forgot to say one, one thing. We take out our bay leaf. We add our greens. We turn off the heat. Cover it. Let it sit for about five, 10 minutes. And we're gonna be plating and trying. So that was pretty easy and pretty fast. Now my soup, taco soup is ready. It was simmering for 30 minutes and I let it sit for about half an hour so I could eat it because every time I'm trying food that's super hot, I burn myself. So, okay. It smells incredible. This beautiful, luscious, delicious soup, chili, call it however you want, but the taste is absolutely incredible. Now, we're gonna serve it, and I decided to decorate it like chili. I mean, like, I decided to decorate it like taco. Sour cream on the middle, maybe a little bit more of sour cream. We also add a little bit of fresh tomatoes, maybe one chili, a little bit of our onion, a little bit, oh, I forgot cheese, yes. We need uh, cheddar cheese. I have these three cheeses that I'm sure are gonna be just as good. And of course, I cover my tomatoes. Me and decoration doesn't work too well. Parsley, because with fresh parsley, everything looks prettier. And here we go. The beauty is here. If you don't mix dairy and meat, you just simply eat it like that. You may just add a little more of chili pepper for spices, some fresh tomato if you like, and some onion. And how pretty that looks. Lantra. have come that I could try my delicious dish. And I have my Simply Naked chips because I was too lazy to make my own. And this is how I'm gonna eat it. I mix everything up. And... So, so good. It's savory. Mm. Mm. And it's absolutely delicious. I have to go, my friends. My family is here waiting for me to serve the food because we're going to have to eat it. It's going to be gone within five minutes. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave some comments down below. You see how easy it is to make it, but if you have questions, you could ask me. I'm always here for you. Don't be afraid to ask me questions. And on the description is gonna be the full recipe, not recipe, the ingredients. I know it's a lot, don't get confused. When you lay everything in front of you, it's gonna be very easy. It makes with 30 minutes, it's done. Delicious, yummy, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.